Welcome back, guys. Sim Football Critic here, and thanks for taking the time to spend a little time with me. As you can see, guys, we're back at it. Ball State against North Texas. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So they're going to kick off the ball first. And since I have Patterson back there, you know I'm going to try to bring it out. But he's not going to do too much. You know, great pursuit right there, great tackle. So we're going to come out, and we're going to run the ball with Jawan Edwards. Gets a nice little pickup here, about six or seven yards. So we'll definitely take that. And we're going to keep it on the ground, man. Nice big hole right there. Pick up the first down, so we're marching. So now I'm going to go to the air, see what I can get. Bad pass there, and it almost ended up being a turnover. So now a second and ten, we try to run the ball. We only get two yards. Luckily enough here, we get Williams going across the middle at third and eight, picking up the first down, so we're definitely going to rock with that. So we're going to keep the ball on the ground here. Great pursuit right there by the defense, second and 11. Try to go deep again. He was covered anyway, but the ball was overthrown, so now it's a third and 11. And an outstanding catch right here by my receiver. And we're going to see this one more time, guys. I'm, I'm not a fan of this animation here. <laughs> you know, the truck animation there. I was never really a fan of this. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying it can happen, but at the same time, I'm not sure if it could happen in that situation. So I definitely got to point that out. But um, either way, that was a great catch by my receiver. So we're going to definitely take that. All right. So as you can see here, guys, we get into the end zone. Nice pass here to my tight end. And we're going to walk away with the lead. So they come out first down. They're going to run the play action on us. They pick up three. Second and seven. Quarterback is inaccurate there. Excuse me, guys. I had to yawn right there. Apologize for that. He was inaccurate on second and third down. Well, the third down, he dropped the ball, you know, as a receiver. But as you can see, we got the ball back. And we're going to continue to run the ball, man. You know, you guys know my forte. Going to run the ball here again. Now we're in a third and three situation. I try to get a short pass off. I throw it a little bit late. Luckily enough, my guy Williams there is able to come up with the big catch. Great location on the ball. I'm, I'm not even sure how I got that off. Now I get hit right as the ball was released. Williams bails us out once again. So we're going to come out in the play action here. And, you know, nice pressure there by the defense. They're able to come up with a huge stop. Another stop here on second down. So after we come back from the first down break here, I mean, first quarter break, I'm sorry. It's going to be third and seven. So we'll see what happens here. Come out passing. Hit the running back here across the middle. Jawan Edwards is coming up big on the offensive side of the ball. You know, whether he's catching it or running the ball out the backfield, he's doing good things for us so far. So you guys know how it works, man. I'm going to feed him the ball there, pick up a good block right there inside. I cut inside, tried to get into the end zone, but they hold this here, second and 11. Nice, strong run up the middle. And my money man, Jawan Edwards, is in for another score so right now guys it's 14 to 0 and i'm like you know we're gonna definitely walk away with a win here you know we're gonna handle these guys and look at this great catching great juke right there making my defense look silly nice pickup right there and I, if i'm not mistaken this is gonna be a very nice drive by north texas you know let you guys see it here look at that juke move <laughs> made my db look very silly right there so they're going to run the ball as well. They got a nice running back here. He's a star player, Reggie Pengram. Or Pegram, if I'm saying his name correctly. You're going to see he's going to do a lot of work here for these guys. He's running hard. He's not going to get too many big runs downfield. But as you're going to see as the game goes on, man, he runs very hard. And, you know, he's definitely somebody that you need to respect. So keep a close eye right there, guys. You saw that my cornerback there was beat on that play. Pay attention to that because they're going to go right back to that side. And boom, this time they catch him slipping in the zone. And the receiver is able to come up with a big catch. So I, I like how they went back to a weak side of the field. You know, like I said, you know, in the past, I don't know if I could give the game that much credit. It would definitely take, you know, more time with me playing it to know if the computer recognized their mismatch. But in that case, you definitely saw them go back to that receiver. And in the meantime here, guys, they're going to continue to drive down the field. And as you see here, they come up with a touchdown. Great catch here as he falls backwards on the sideline. So, you know, they say not so fast. <laughs> 14 to 7. We got about two and a half minutes left. See what we can do before the half. So 
So I come out passing on first down, get a nice big play right there, nice big catch by my guy Williams there. And look at this right here, guys. I hit the pump fake. I was trying to go to RB, and I hit LB by mistake. Blew a chance for a big play, but not a problem. We come right back with the screen play, and we're going to pull off a big gain right here. Again, that's Jawan Edwards doing his thing out of the backfield, whether he's running it or catching it. He's definitely coming up big in this game so far. Nice big play here, so we're downfield. So, you know, guys, you know what I'm thinking. Work the clock, run the ball, try to get into scoring position. So I'm going to run it here on second down, and look what happens here. I get sacked. So it's third and 18, and you know what I'm thinking. Just get enough to get in field goal range. They do a great job here with coverage, so I'm able to dump it underneath. And I kick the long field goal, guys. I think this was a 49-yard field goal, and I actually made the field goal. So we're happy there. We're going to go into the half up 17-7. to And like I said, man, I still feel comfortable. I don't feel like the team is on their heels just yet. But as we start the third quarter, take a look at this drive, man. You know, they're not trying to quit. You know, they're you know, doing a little bit here, doing a little bit there. Quarterback is going to scramble there. Nice open reception right there. They pick up the first down. And pay attention to how the quarterback goes to work. And as you can see, these guys are breaking tackles, man. Everyone is, is you know, doing their thing. They, they're trying hard, man. They, you know, they run after contact is very good. And look at this. The quarterback scrambles and boom, big hit. And I'm going to show this to you again momentarily. This is very important for you to see. This guy gets injured on this play. Bang. Huge hit right there. So as you can see, he's laid out. <laughs> and we're going to bring in another quarterback. And that's funny, man. That's two consecutive games where we have hurt the star quarterback. Another big hit right there, but that guy holds on to the ball. And look at Pingram here, man. He's doing his thing. Like I said, I may be saying his name wrong. I'm going to just say Pegram, I guess. Doing his thing. And right here, this could have been a huge touchdown. They dropped the ball. But either way. They're going to still get the touchdown because look who they are picking on once again. My cornerback over there suffering over there, but it is what it is. You know, you have a good corner on one side and a bad corner on the other. That's how it works. <laughs> so, all right, guys. So now I'm thinking, okay, this is a little closer than I thought. You know, we're not handing it to him like we were doing early on. So I'm going to be patient. I'm showing you here that Edwards is hot, so you know what that means. I'm going to feed him the rock. And he's going to do good things for me right there, picking up the first down. Banks comes in to spell Jawan Edwards. And um, Edwards comes back in, and he continues to do more of the same. So you guys know me. I run the ball, man. You know, I'm not afraid to run the ball. That's how I play football, you know. Run first, pass second. You know, pass when necessary. Pass when it's open. But, you know, my philosophy is run the ball to set up the pass. You know, that's how I like to play football. You know, I guess that's just that old school mentality. So that's what I'm going to continue to do. Run the ball until they prove me that they can stop it. You know, I'm mixing up runs. You know, runs left, runs right, runs up the middle. Mixing them up. So as you can see here, man, I'm just wasting some time and showing you guys that, you know, taking my time, calling my play here. So we'll see what play I select. You know, not trying to rush anything. Using the clock to my advantage. As you can see, taking my time, just letting that clock tick and tick and tick. And we're going to run the counter right here. And I run the play clock down to about six or seven seconds. Nice play call there because, as you can see, it gives me the first down. So, again, guys, you know the, you know the routine. I'm going to keep running the ball. Look at my man Edwards fighting to make sure he doesn't get any lost yards. But it's going to cost us. Edwards goes down, guys. But have no fear. We have Banks in the reserve spot, and he comes in, and he does his thing just as well. Look how hard he's running. Look at that. He almost got in the end zone. Really wanted to give it to him right there. And there you go, guys. As you can see, man, Edwards just has an abdominal strain. Nothing too serious. He's out for a quarter, so we go ahead and let him sit out the rest of the game. But like I said, Banks is doing his thing as well. He got in the end zone there, and now North Texas is coming out, firing the ball on first down. Another nice reception right there, and it looks like they're going to drive. They're already close to the 50. Passing here again on first down. Look at this. Another pickup right there. 
great offense. Quarterback is very patient, finding the right receiver. And looks like they're trying to do something, man. Look at this. Another bad drop. <laughs> and as you guys have been able to see, some drops have hurt them in this game. But look at my defensive end here, man, saving the day. Grabbing him by the shoulder pads, and we're going to bring him down. It's now fourth and six. I bring the pressure, and you know who it is. And let, and let me say, man, I pronounced his name wrong the last time. It's not Avery. It's Ayers. So I definitely apologize for that. But number nine, Big Ayers, comes in. You know he has to make his presence known. Saves the day there. Not really saves the day, but he ends the drive, so he ends any chance for them to come back. And once again, guys, we're going to walk away with the win. Jawan Edwards there. Most valuable player for the game. And there you have it. Like always, guys, let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts and comments. And hey, go ahead and hit that like button. All right, until next time, guys. Once again, guys, thanks for coming by. And if you want to interact with me live, head on over to Sim Standard Radio every Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, along with Smitty and Azure Fat. The call in number for the show is down in the description. Now, of course, for more content, go ahead and click the link above. And before you go, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. All right, guys. Until next time, lights out.